Hey guys, Fira 880 and welcome to an installation job or a refreshing job on my 2012 Jeep Wrangler. Now when I bought my Jeep Wrangler back, actually this is being filmed on October 31st, 2016. This Jeep was bought October 31st, 2011, five year anniversary. I had a 2000 um, Jeep Wrangler that had round style off-road lights and I added those to the 2012 but it's time for a little bit of an upgrade so recently I was contacted by Nylight N-I-L-I-G-H-T dot com to try one of their uh, light bars they asked me if I'd be willing to demonstrate one and do an installation video I said sure send it along so check this out we have our 20 inch light bar Very cool, very cool. Now, the optional wire hardness kit they also sent to me. This is actually really heavy duty. I, I will say I'm impressed with this because the round style lights that I have on the front of my Jeep now did come with wire hardness and it's very, um, very puny. So let's see if we can get this thing out here. They gave me tons and tons of uh, stickers and um, literature. So this ought to be pretty cool. So what we're going to do, I never actually hooked these up um, because these take a ton of power. When these were hooked up to the battery on my 2000 Jeep Wrangler, the current draw on these lights are absolutely incredible. So I never hooked them up. It was basically for looks. So here in a minute, I'm going to go ahead and attempt to take these off. And these are just simply bolted onto the bracket. This is a Rugged Ridge um, front bar for the Jeep Wrangler, it's the JKs. And then we're going to go ahead and look at the, uh, the Nylite 20 inch LED light bar and see the mounting hardware on it and at least get it mounted for right now. So as you can already see, this is, a, this is nice looking. This is going to make a big difference on the appearance on the front. Now I know a Jeep has a classic look. And the classic look used to always be the, the uh, round lights on the front and the grill and so forth. But times have changed. So let's get this, the mounting hardware and the directions to see exactly how this is going to mount. Here's some more literature here, details about their different products and so forth. Installation is very simple. You've got two threads on each side of the bracket. You've got multiple bolts for those threads. Um, some of them come with washers and then you have your brackets. And the long side of the bracket is going to go towards the back side of the light bar, like so right here. Now for right now, the more I look at this, you still have to put your mounting bolt through the hole. So I've got to measure the distance that I need. And then we'll go ahead and mount the brackets on the other side as well. So I've loosened the bolts here on the mounting brackets for the light bar. And what I'm doing is I'm centering, them, centering it up with the mounting holes on my main bar on the front of the Jeep. And I've got pretty much everything fairly centered up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go now and retighten these. And then we'll get ready to do the install. On the light bar bracket that's got a little welded areas on the side where the uh, bolt notches right in so when you go to tighten it it makes things a lot easier. I've just lowered everything in and uh, I've got the spacing just fine. Looks cool. Alright let's get some hardware in. So there you have it. Looks definitely more modern. I can guarantee you the power output of that versus the old round lights and the power consumption is going to be incredible. So I'm using a temporary power source. I'd like to show how this thing is pretty impressive. So that's what it's doing right now. So 
So here is the finished product. Very attractive LED light bar. Your adjustments again are a two 10 millimeters on each side, one here, one here, one here and there. Same thing on the other side. And you could basically rotate the light bar. Plus you can also bring it back further back if you like and a little bit higher. But, so the optional wire hardness that I received for the installation video is this particular hardness that comes with this selector switch. Very simple to hook up. This I'm very, very surprised about, and you couldn't get any more simpler than this. Basically, you have a direct hookup, and it already comes with the attachments to allow you to bolt it straight to your battery terminals. And on a Jeep Wrangler, you have easy access to plenty of inputs on both your positive and negative uh, battery terminals. So you already have this ready to go. And you have 2.5 meters worth of wire harness. You've got your, everything's already hooked up. You have your uh, 40 amp relay hooked up. You have a 40 amp inline fuse. This particular wire harness can handle up to 200 watts of power. And it, again, it's very simple to hook up. You would hook the light up here using blade connectors. You'll have to supply your own connectors or your own splicing mechanism, whatever you're gonna to use to connect the wire hardness to the light. In this case here, I would use a solder and iron and heat shrink. So what I've done is I've taken the wire supply for the actual light bar. I've ran it through right up here right there. I've come behind the grill. I went ahead and took off the blade leads and for right now, and I, I know I'm a person about solder. I usually solder and use shrink, but heat shrink, but I've got some pretty decent splice connectors right now and I'm basically just going to splice this into the light bar. Where my old lights were at, I put a hole in my little grill inserts here to put the wiring for the lights through which allows me to bring this down under the grill and make my connection and then I can go ahead and pull the, the remaining slack and then start tie wrapping stuff to the battery compartment. It's not Nightlight's fault but I'm going to go ahead and just solder this. This this didn't work out the way I thought it would so bear with me here let me get this on the wire real quick and I'll show you what it looks like. All right. I hope this shrink wrap's big enough. Yeah, good. Very good. Done. Sorry guys. I was not able to show the soldering on camera. Uh, very limited with resources right now. But, my connections are made. So now I'm going to basically just tuck the wire underneath the grill. Over here where I pulled it up. And then I'm gonna come up through here and even pull it up further. And then check where my wiring is and I'm right. So I can kind of show this here. That's sufficient enough because I can put a tie wrap right here. And I'm probably gonna go ahead and mount the relay right here. On the newer Wranglers, you have access points on your terminals which is what I'm going to use the tap into for right now now the only thing that I have a and it's not going to be too much of an issue I don't think it will but the terminal is slightly larger than the nut itself so I'll probably have to kind of pull it into a corner like so by uh, doing that you get full contact but it's still it, it, the nut has plenty of backing surface to cover this terminal completely I'm 
work like a charm. Now time for the positive side. Hmm. One thing to note, and I know a lot of you out there can be like, well, we already know that. When you're working with electrical, be absolutely careful. Your positive terminal is here. Even though you got a wire hardness here, your ground is down here and up here. And if you're using a ratchet or a wrench long enough that can contact uh, ground to positive and cause a nice little arc, it can be dangerous and sometimes fatal. So please be absolutely careful when working on electrical. Take all your safety precautions per your manual and per common sense. And if you don't feel comfortable enough to do such of your own, have a professional do it. So now I've got everything hooked up. I should have, yep, got my light, done. Perfect, so what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna go ahead and use some tie wraps, get all this nice and neat, and I believe there is an area right here. I'm not sure, I've gotta find, make sure I'm correct, but I believe that's gonna be an area where I can run the wiring for the switch. So I have my wiring tie wrapped here. I've got a tie wrap here. I've got two over here I need to trim. And let's see. There we go. And so now let's go ahead and try to access that. Reaching my hand up, I was able to pull the connector through the garment, and now it's time to connect a switch and find a new home for it. I believe where I'm going to mount the switch to is I'm going to come right here beside the uh, computer connector, the OBN, OBN, what is that called? Connector. It's got double sided tape, and uh, yeah, I think right there would be just perfect. Ta-da! So I'm driving down the street in my neighborhood and right now I'm just using my regular low beams and fog lights. Now if I turn the... <laughs> That's just crazy. Wow. Now I do need to adjust the beam a little bit. It needs to come up some. But that kind of gives you an idea. It's pointing a little bit too down towards the road right now. But let's go to a field area. So I'm at this field of my neighborhood. This is low beams, this is fog lights, and this is high beams. This is the 20 inch light bar. Huge difference. Again, now I believe it's pointed down a little bit, but still the uh, the amount of light that you get, I mean, you can't even barely, except for the trees, <laughs> I mean, you can, the light bar clearly outpowers the headlights in many, many magnitudes. Now, I do have headlights and fog light LED conversions on the way now, uh, but this is, I mean, look at the light power that you had here. That's incredible. I wish you could get it more on camera, but I, I can't. But then I mean, you could kind of see my shadow there. So guys, thanks again for watching my videos. This concludes the installation of the Nightlight N-I-L-I-G-H-T.com 20-inch light bar. As you can see, I'm actually probably about 100 feet away from my Jeep. It's bright, but it's good bright. This is what you need out on the trails. Uh, camping and so forth and the power consumption if you would have seen how much power consumption those round lights took on my old TJ my 2000 Jeep Wrangler it was it was scary I mean it those things consumed a significant amount of power the new light bars the technology is absolutely incredible I'm telling you exactly how I feel about the installation and everything and I can tell you right now the installation was a breeze the quality of the light bar seems very decent the wire hardness, that if anything, man, that thing was, it's all put together. You don't have to do anything. Hook it straight up to your battery connectors or to your terminals. Run your wiring down to your light bar. Run the switch and that's it. 
I wish I could show you the round lights wire harness that came. You still had to do some splicing and it didn't come with the relays and I don't, it maybe or maybe did not come with the switches. This was out of the box ready to install. So a excellent shout out to night lights. We're going to be doing some more projects. I am going to put the LEDs in my back bumper and possibly a couple more things. We have the headlights and fog lights video that will be coming soon. So thanks again for watching the videos. Click subscribe or like here and I'm going to bed. See y'all later.